I wanted to show you a little design that I've been working on. It's nothing revolutionary, but uh, the goal is to get these DJI arms, you know, as you probably already know, that these arms just from the top of the motor mount to about the bottom is about two inches. So you really only have about one and three quarters inches of clearance, right? So uh, what I wanted to do was kind of extend that and what I've done is in SketchUp I've kind of done just a basic model um, of an arm and so I took a photo you can see this photo of the red arm here um, just on my back deck with the iPhone and then I imported it into SketchUp and did a little trace of the arms if you look at the bottom you kind of see that's the back side and uh, we'll take a look at the front again so if I actually rotate it you'll see that this has a little bit of depth. It just whenever I do a test print I do it either at one millimeter like this guy over here or I'll do it at two millimeters just so I don't waste a lot of pra uh, plastic. So assuming this arm prints accurately and, and fits well I'm gonna have one on each side of the DJI um, landing gear if you can call it that but so there'll be one on each side and initially I have this hole here right here and then you know obviously these holes cutouts uh, where the DJI cutouts are and uh, initially we'll just use some zip ties to hold it together. So here's the actual arm that I just showed you in SketchUp being printed and it's about a little bit over halfway done. Okay so our DJI arm extension is done printing. Okay, here's our finished piece. I also wanted to mention when I do the export initially, just when trying to fit these parts, I do, you know, on the pretty much the lowest settings, just so we don't use a lot of plastic and it's pretty flexible right now. Um, once we lock down, you know, the, the dimensions and the sizing and all that, uh, we can bump up the uh, infill and some of the other settings to make this thing more dur durable. So if you look at just the placement, it's, it's actually pretty close for a first try. Um, the hole alignment's a little bit off. You can tell I put this little hole here just so what will happen is when we run this, you know, there's going to be a, another piece on here on each side of this arm and so we'll run the zip tie through all the way around and then just get it real tight. Let me go ahead and just zip tie through and we'll take a look see how that see how that mounts. Actually fits real nice as I mentioned, we'll have the other one on this side. And the goal is to have a little bit more clearance from, you know, if you wanted to mount, let's say, a GoPro underneath your flame wheel frame. If we measure just, just a quick guesstimation, let me change this to inches. We're about three, a little bit over three and a half inches of clearance. It's a starting place. I mean, to actually do this part, it's by no means, you know, a complicated or revolutionary part, but it does take some work, you know, to get just the fitting, the dimensions accurate because, you know, I don't have a 3D scanner. It would be amazing if I did, but uh, in the interim, I'm just, like I said, take a photo, import it, trace it, and then uh, start measuring with the calipers to get things really kind of tightened up. That's it for now. I'm going to continue to to work on this and uh, hopefully in the next segment when I actually do another print um, I'll have these things all mounted and we'll get to see the uh, flame wheel frame with these uh, extensions mounted. I've had a few people ask me about these and so if you're interested just post a comment 
or you know send me a message and um, you know I'm planning on shipping out a few sets just so I can get some I guess real world feedback I mean I'm, I'm definitely gonna be flying with them but it's good if you uh, guys have any suggestions I hope this was useful and, and thanks for watching